you've logged in and updated your organization's information on the first screen, the second tab is the board roster. So here is where you're going to tell us about your board members. Um, remember to at least designate a minimum of five board members on this roster, and you'll do that by clicking on this designate button here. Once you do that, it will um, give you this line here. You may have some of this pre-filled already from prior reports, but you want to make sure that you update the treasurer and the board chair. And you'll do that by selecting one of these options here. So the president or board chair, you would click this button. Um, and it's also important to add your executive director on this screen. While your executive director or CEO may not be a voting board member, that's fine. Uh, but you do need to enter it on this screen because that's what's going to show on your BBB report. So for that individual, you will click this button here, CEO non-voting. And there's also an option if your CEO is a voting member, you can click this button here. Please also enter the compensation in this box. You can take that number right off the 990. Um, that is what's available to the public, and that's also what will show on your BBB report. Now, if you've had a new executive director um, during the fiscal year that you're filling this out for, that salary may be applicable to a prior executive director. So if you want to provide explanation um, to further clarify any of this information, you can do that here by clicking on this button, which says, I would like to provide more details. And you can um, give us a note here. This is not um, viewable by the public. Now, you also want to upload your current board roster here. And again, for larger organizations, if you have, uh, let's say, 30 board members, those are a lot of names to enter. So what we ask is, again, that you just put a minimum of five members. And then on this oversight tab, in this box here, is where you'll actually put the number of voting board members at the time of your submission. I also want to uh, note that for the board meetings tab, which is the second one here, um, you want to put the board meetings for your full board. Executive committee member meetings don't count. We just want to know about your full board meetings. Um, and if you have several meetings throughout the year, you want to enter at least three of the meetings that are evenly spaced that have the most board attendance. So we'll just show you here. Let's say I had a board meeting today. I would enter the meeting date. And you want to say how many people were actually in the room. If somebody called in, you would enter that number here. And if anybody was not in attendance, you would enter that here. So if I had three board members that didn't show up, 27 people, two on the phone, this is what it would look like. You'll then click here to save it. And it will show you here all the meetings. They'll be listed after you save them. And if you need to edit any of that information, you can do so by clicking the Edit button here. So you'll either click the Next Step button after you save. Or you can also navigate by going to these, um, these sub-tabs here. So when you get to the Oversight tab, it's going to list several policies that your board should have in place. So you just want to click these buttons here to confirm that your board does in fact have these policies. If any of these policies are not actually in place, you can provide a note to us as well. Um, but you want to do that here on the board members tab because this is the uh, comment box that's internal, not available to the public. So once you get through all of this information, you're going to go to the next step. And that's going to bring you to the related party transactions. So here you want to give us details if there are any related party transactions between uh, staff members or your board. And you'll just give us like a brief description here, and you'll choose the type of um, the type of service. So if it was goods or service, you'll use the drop-down box. You'll add a new transaction, and again, all these boxes below will enter where you can give us detail about it. And always remember to save. 